Hello, back again. Thanks for tuning in, and uh, let's get started. So, first thing about this video, uh, to avoid spoilers, um, or at least to avoid too many spoilers, I have done this immediately after meeting Yennefer. Like, just immediately after I finish meeting Yennefer for the first time, and that bit's finished, I get to this. If you've gone further, you're fine. If you haven't got to this bit yet and don't want to hear possible spoilers, tune off, finish that bit, then come back to this afterwards. So, straight into it. After I finished meeting with Yennefer, um, and I, the, the castle was done, and I finished... Um, Unfortunately, of course, condemning the poor Chamberlain to 40 whips because I didn't bow like a boss. Uh, I arrived in this area, Hanged Man's Tree. From there, I just looked on the map. I'm actually heading to the big city to see what I can find, but uh, I've found this area, Drahim Castle, just outside. I hadn't actually seen it until I walked past it on the road and um, it popped up as a, a quick teleport, quick travel area. So, uh, yeah, anyone making your way there, if you go through this area, uh, there is a toll at the beginning. You need to find a pass. Alternatively, you could do what I did, which is just run around the outside and continue on the road, because, you know, fuck them. I'll probably come and see that later on. But, Drahim Castle. When you arrive here... Now, keep in mind, I've only just arrived in this area. I'm, I'm very bad with moving on with stories. Um, I like to explore and just see what's going on and stuff, and this area is pretty good. For a start, as you can see, it doesn't look like a lot from the outside, but when you get inside, it gets sexy. Outside, if you use your Witcher senses, you can see uh, different blood stains here. These trigger off uh, a quest. From there, you go down into the cellar. When you get down to the bottom of the cellar, you'll find this dead body, and it'll uh, send you into the tower. However, items that are in here... I haven't picked anything up, I've already had a little look through just to see what's going on. Let's see what I find. And believe me, some of this is pretty good. Straight away there. Two diagrams, two steel. One silver ingot and some other stuff. Is that the only one? Yep. Alright, that's that in for in here. Outside, we have a barrel up here. Another steel ingot, more hardened leather, cured leather, torn out page, and another diagram. But the good stuff, of course, is inside here. We'll go down first, since it's the easiest. I'm floating, or something. There we go. Straight away, inside this first one, I find five wolves. A Domitirium. I don't know how the fuck to pronounce that, but yep, one of them. Some other stuff. Some more stuff there. Water essence. There seems to be a lot of really, really nice stuff in here. I'm not sure how much this is going to weigh me down, but when I get to the city, I'm hoping to uh, do something with all the loot I've been collecting. The best item I found is inside this chest here. The one that's glowing for the quest, which I haven't done yet. So here we are. I'm assuming this is uh, super rare. Um, it could be a guaranteed item that's here, or it could be an RNG item, I'm not sure, but it looks pretty nice. Feline steel sword. Along with, uh, more items. Yep, and a new quest. Is there anything else that I've missed? Nope. Right, let's go back up. Right, I've got to double check I've got everything. There's an awful lot of stuff in here. So we'll start making our way up. Not 
not much in these containers by the looks of it. Except for alcohol. What more do you want, eh? It's party time. Okay. Start exploring all the other loot in this place. Another manuscript page. Designs, silver ingots, steel ingots. Well, let's continue on up. There we go. No. Get off. I will loot this. There we go. Oh, just alcohol. I thought it'd be something good. Okay. Where's the marker? I did see one. Maybe I was just dreaming. Alright, let's continue on up. Ooh, lots of red. One of the best things, guys, is what I'm about to show you. This, this is honestly insanely cool. The view is pretty impressive, to say the least. I could take a screenshot of that and use that as my background quite happily. Uh, here is a random dude that lo just looks like he crawled up. He couldn't. He couldn't take the uh, the view. It was too much for him. He just gave up on life there. Okay, final floor. Meteorite ore. Never seen that before. Diagram harpy, a relic diagram. Some really nice stuff inside this place, guys. Strange. As if a whirlwind came through. Right. Strange. As if a whirlwind came through. Let's head back down. I keep seeing the little uh, magnifying glass symbol, but I've not figured out where to use it yet. I think I'm going crazy. But that is pretty much everything though, guys. I might have missed something. But uh, it doesn't really look like there's a lot more to see inside this building. I hope that this is something nice for people that like to collect stuff. Is that rain? Well, I'm used to that. I live in England. Fucking pisses down every day over here. But yeah, that's it for now, guys. I'm going to get into the city. If I find anything that looks good inside the main city, I will be posting that shortly. And um, yeah, there's a windmill over there. So uh, maybe that'll be something to post about. Thanks for checking out the video. Hopefully this will help you guys get geared up. If you're doing it on the hard mode, this will definitely be a help, I would have thought. Because from uh, what a friend of mine has been telling me about hard mode, I'm playing on normal. Um, hard mode is pretty, pretty tricky. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video.